Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast 10. This is Monisha and here are the top 10 headlines of today. The father of the 11-day-old infant who was killed and buried nearby the bank of Bisanala River Bank in Dubi Malipara village has been arrested by Bajale police. As per reports, the man identified as 35-year-old Niranjan Malakar allegedly planned to sell the baby for rupees 4 lakhs with the help of a doctor after its birth. In a terrifying incident, a man was hacked to death in Merapani Golaghat district on Saturday night. According to reports, a man identified as Rupeshar Bora of Merapani village allegedly summoned the victim Rajiv Gogoi to his residence and brutally murdered him by hitting him with hot iron at night. Currently, Merapani police arrested arrested the accused and further investigation has been initiated. The Gopur police during an operation intercepted a vehicle transporting fake gold bars in the wee hours of Sunday. According to reports, two accused involved in the smuggling of fake gold hailing from Punjab were also arrested during the raid. The weight of the seized fake gold is around 1.55 kg. Further investigation is underway. The Numoligori Refinery Limited has registered the highest ever profit after tax since its inception at Rs. 3,700 3 crore as compared to rupees 3,562 crore registered in the last fiscal, Chairman Arrat said on Saturday. The company also recorded the highest ever revenue from operations during the year at rupees 29,786 crore as compared to rupees 23,547 crore the previous year. In a shocking incident, a drunken youth on Saturday night rammed his speeding vehicle on a police officer who was on duty in downtown area of Guwahati. The incident occurred following a raid conducted by the traffic police in front of Janata Bhavan. According to reports, the youth who was under the influence of alcohol drove the vehicle at high speed to escape the police raid. Another skeleton of a rhino recovered at Manas National Park near Rupuhi Camp in the Bhuyabara Range on Saturday. Dr. Vaivav C. Mathur, the field director of the park, reached the site after the incident took place. From action was taken by the authorities to recover the rhino's carcass. Tragedy struck Kampur's Darangal village in Assam as a laborer lost his life due to electrocution on Saturday night. The unfortunate incident occurred while he was working on the Jaljeevan mission con connecting electricity during the night. A group of armed robbers looted gold ornaments worth rupees 10 lakh from a jewelry shop owner by firing two rounds in the air in Assam's Bongaigao. The incident took place at South Dokijar locality in the Bongaigao Town. Bonganga police has launched a manhunt to nab the culprits involved in the incident. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi paid tribute to his father and former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi on his 79th birth anniversary from the banks of Pangong Lake in Ladakh on Sunday morning. Rahul Gandhi embarked on a bike ride to Pangong, so in Ladakh on Saturday. In India's Vital Moon mission, which launched from Earth on July 14, the Vikram lander module of Chandrayaan-3 successfully carried out the second and final deboosting maneuver on Saturday, according to the Indian Space Research Organization. ISRO further stated that the module would undergo internal checks and await the sunrise at the designated landing site. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us and staying updated with the latest happenings around the world. Before we go, we would like to remind you to stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and Telegram to get real-time updates and breaking news. Tune in tomorrow at the same time for more news and updates. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.